I feel weird after last night. Yeah, that's what happens when tequila meets desperation. Okay, stop saying things you shouldn't be saying to your boss. Holy crap, can you hear my inner thoughts? I can hear your inner thoughts! Oh! The series of events in this film are spurred by a psychic. I'm wondering yes. if you guys have any funny or very accurate psychic stories. Yeah, I mean, why not? Could be. <laughs> like, could be. Like, who am I to say no? If I was going to have a psychic, I wanted to be Erica Badu. I'll yes. I do, too. She's the best I kind. do, too. My girlfriend at the time, Megan, my wife, uh, now, uh, we broke up for a little while. Okay. And she sat me down and said, in 18 months, we're going to get back together and we'll be married. And I went, yeah, okay. 18 months to no, the day. No, stop. She set you up, bro. Well, you gonna tell me something about me that I don't know? Okay, fair question. You mean something about me on them cards that I don't know? Right, I show you right. Know. If you could choose one person's mind to read and you don't have to be in the same room as them, who would it be? Jason Jones from eighth grade's mind. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Why and I would want to control his mind. What did Jason do? He just says great bone structure. <laughs> Probably my, my fiance. Really? If I could read any male's mind, it would be my fiance, my son, and my dog. Really? And then that's it. <laughs> so Erica, where did you draw inspiration for this character? Was it improv? My mother is the funniest person that I know. Even doing spankings, you know, it's just. <laughs> You're still laughing and crying. Uh-huh. <laughs> How did you approach your characters? I think with anything, you have to always approach with honesty. What is the honest nature of the character and the honest nature of the tone of the scene? Mm -hmm. We're trying to get out of it. Now, what was it like working with Tracy? I can see Tracy going into the store, just a convenience store. He sees someone and I, that lady looks like she's having a rough day. And he he is going to try and make her laugh. That's just who he is. He would come to set every day and be like, Taraji, I'm gonna make you laugh today. And I'm like, Tracy, you make me laugh every day. <laughs> you and Taraji had such like effortless. Chemistry, yeah. Great chemistry, and I that, But that comes outside of the camera. That's what I thought. So what did you that's guys do sister. on set? You guys just had a bond. That's my sister. She know I got her back, and I know she got mine in the scene. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad she's getting to stretch that comedic muscle. Mm. I'm so glad. What advice do you have for people trying to find their own voice, whether in their career or life or, I don't know, in Stay funny. Stay funny. Stay funny. That's it. What message do you want audiences to take away? One of the things that Adam and the writers of the script did really, really well is that it's a nuanced film. These feel like real people. You aren't a man, so you can't do what they do, but you can be a woman and be strong and mm -hmm. do what you do. Mm -hmm. It's very real out here when women are saying they're not being paid. It's not, we're not making this up. We're not just finding some cause to uh, get our panties in the uproar about. And we're teaching you through comedy and laughter, we, we gotta work together. Yeah, I, and I would want them to take away that we're all human beings and to, uh, create the understanding inside that we are whatever we think we are. I smell toast. Am I having a stroke? Wait, I have toast in my pocket. Whew.